Hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching this old movie effect. Now this effect is great, it works with basically any sort of image that you have. But if you don't have an image uh, to apply this effect to, but you want to try it out, you can download the images on the source files on my website. And the link is going to be in the description bar. So, uh, basically with this effect, as I said, it applies to basically any sort of image. Now if I show you what they used to be like, so here's the first one and then here's what it's going to be changed into and here's the second one and here's what it used to be like and here it is now now as I said um, it can work with any sort of image I'm showing you it works kind of good with old cars obviously because um, they're old but I mean if you have any new images it'll work with them as well so it's really good um, so let's jump over to what we're going to be working on. So this picture here, like I showed you before. And it's really, really simple and easy. There's not much to this effect. All you have to do is press Ctrl and J. And that duplicates your image. Now if you don't want to use keyboard commands, you can just drag the image down to the new layer icon, which is in the bottom right hand side. And it'll duplicate. Now from here, we're going to desaturate the actual picture, so taking all of the colour out of it so it's black and white. So Control, Shift and U on your keyboard. So that's Control, Shift and U. And now that we have desaturated it, we're going to blur it a little bit. So we're going to go up to Filter, we're going to go to Blur and we're going to go to Gaussian Blur. Now from here you need to really work on your own here with the radius depending on your sort of picture. Um, if you have a high resolution you can notch uh, the radius up a bit. If you have a low resolution you want to notch the uh, radius down a bit. For this image it should work with a 1.4 pixels but if you want it a little bit blurrier you can uh, obviously bring the number up. But I'm going to keep it at 1.4 pixels. That should be OK. Then click OK. Now from here we need the old sort of uh, film movie grain effect. So what we need to do is go up to filter again. We need to go down to texture and we need to go down to grain. Now from here we're going to zoom out. You can zoom out on the bottom left hand side. You see these two little icons here to zoom out. And I'm going to keep the same settings I used before. So intensity is going to be 6. Contrast is going to be 5 and make sure that you've got the grain type is vertical now obviously as I said with um, the Gaussian blur you want to work on your own here with different numbers high resolution you can bring it up a bit low resolution bring it down a bit um, but this works well on this uh, picture here so 6 for that and 5 for the contrast and then click OK now that we've done that, it's finished. That's basically it. I said it was easy and that's how simple and easy and quick it was. Now, uh, for my other fans out there who have been asking questions and saying when are you going to make more videos. Now I'm sorry I haven't made a lot of videos in quite a while um, because I have been doing stuff, getting uh, preparing stuff like that and making a few pictures for people. Um, now. As I said um, in my other tutorials that all my videos are HD but now they're going to be in pristine pristine HD sorry um, yeah because I got the proper equipment now uh, so that's about it for this tutorial and I'll see you in my next one guys bye for now